Good day, everybody. Today, I'm going to share with you something that's really important information that I hope is going to be useful to you. Uh, please stick around for a, a few minutes at least to hear what I'm, the point I'm trying to make here. There's some really critical information that I don't think everybody's aware of. I wasn't, and I'm, I'm a relatively close neighbor to the area. So um, I want to get into it from here. If you like our content, please reach down and mash that like and subscribe button. We'd appreciate it. Right here, we're driving down into the Boulder Beach area where the launch ramp is. And as you'll see here in just a minute, I'm going to show you how much difference the water level is. And there's a lot of people that are making it sound like it isn't a big issue right now. But I want to show you right here in the picture now, we'll show you what the lake looked like in March of 2020. You were still able to use the launch ramp there. And in April of 2021, you can see it's diminished a little bit. It's gone down, obviously, whatever the footage was, but you can still use the ramp. And in April of 2022, you can no longer use the ramp anymore. It's gone down to the point now to where it's at, at this stage where you can't use anything there. I mean, it's, there's no swimming or anything. It's just dry. And at this point, you can't even see where the water is from here. So just from April of 2022 to present time, the water has gone down that 23 feet. Now I know a lot of channels have been telling you how, because of all the rains we've had, how everything is doing much better and it's increased, but it's not. If you look at the graph, it started out at 1,066 feet and it's now come all the way down to 1,043.79 feet. I'm, I'm going to not even discuss the fact that we had that three plus feet of gain because it's for the whole water year that's the issue. And the water year starts uh, September, I mean October 1st, and it goes to the end of September. So the undisputed fact starting from October 1 of 2021 to present time in 2022 it's September 12th while I'm doing this it has gone down a total of 23.81 feet that's very significant so what I want to share with you is something that's what's mind-boggling to me and it's about the third straw of, so they're calling it the new tunnel that has been drilled to be able to drain every last drop of water out of Lake Mead. Um, I'm going to give you a picture now of where that area is. Okay, the SNWA, which is the Southern Nevada Water Authority, has paid to have this world record setting 15,200 foot long mega tunnel drilled at 600 feet deep. It's at the very bottom under the lake to where it's basically going to be used like the bathtub drained where they can draw every last drop of water out of the lake. I'm curious what gives them the right to do that. I know 90% of the water from Las Vegas is dependent from Lake Mead, but um, in my mind, is that right that they can draw all the water out of it like that? It, it doesn't belong to them. It's been given through treaties and what have you to New Mexico, Arizona, Nevada, California, even parts into Mexico. So why, when it hits Deadpool, I, I believe they're already using it. And as you can see in these yellow pin drops that I have there, you can see where the water intake is and also where it's got holding tanks and surge tanks where the water is going on into Las Vegas. I won't get into much about the construction time frames and costs and what have you, although I saw anywhere from 817 million to 1.5 billion. So who's paying for this? That's an answer I, I'm not, uh, I have no idea. I'm concerned about that. Number two, um, 
what happens to everybody downstream of the dam once they once the water hits 895 and the and the water can no longer get past the dam the Colorado River is still going to be feeding into it but it'll no longer be able to go downstream which is to Davis Dam that I just showed you the lake behind it Lake Mojave and the Colorado River that goes between Laughlin, Nevada and Bullhead City, Arizona. And this goes all the way down to Lake Havasu, which you can watch my recent video that shows you where, who gets the water. And I'll put a link above here to where that is. So if the lake ever gets to the point to where they actually stop releasing below the dam in 895, what happens to all the people that are south of the dam? The production of crops. It's going to drive the cost of produce through the roof because the, a huge amount of our produce is grown down south of the dam here. Uh, that day is nearing. It's getting closer to us and what happens once they start taking all the water out of the dam? Will it ever regenerate again? If the content we're sharing with you is useful or interesting to you, please reach down and smash the like and subscribe button. It doesn't cost you anything to subscribe to our channel and the thumbs up and subscriptions help us a lot. We'd appreciate it very much if you could support us. So these last few clips are just to reference how much water it will take just to gain back what we have lost this year, 23.81 feet. And imagine the water has to fill back up into these canyons and ravines to gain that 23.81 feet. So it's pretty concerning. And so in closing, is the megatunnel concerning to you? Should the Southern Nevada Water Authority be allowed to drain every last drop of water out of Lake Mead? As that possibility closes in ever nearer, it's a concern. Thanks for watching us. We much appreciate your support.